ladies and gentlemen it is officially time to talk about the must-have weapons going into final shape i wanted to hold off on this topic of video for a little bit and now that they have fully revealed the brave arsenal of weapons that we will be able to earn when into the light goes live and some a little later on you know <laughs> i feel like the time is right to go ahead and make this type of video we'll start off with primary weapons well, let's be real here in the kinetic slot i know people love the submission I just haven't been using SMGs hardly at all recently, bro. And that new Midnight Coup, let's be real, that new Midnight Coup is looking good. Never thought I would say, who needs a Fate Bringer anyways? The way this Midnight Coup is looking, man, it is just gonna be an absolute mean machine. You're gonna get things like Firefly, Shoot to Loot, Explosive Payload, and even Aligned Action in the third column. You'll get things like Kinetic Tremors, One for All frenzy in the fourth column dude explosive payload kinetic tremors firefly kinetic tremors explosive payload frenzy if you never got yourself a time loss fate bringer there's just so much to like about the new midnight coup i have to mention it and honestly i don't think there's other any legendary kinetic primary really worth talking about except for warden's law and blast Fern. exotics are a whole different discussion we're just focusing on legendaries in this video now some primaries in the energy slot something like a zally's bane will be very very good with incandescent and explosive payload It'll be a nice weapon to have and if you don't have the zally's bane or its pattern the luna sowl new and improved could definitely suffice for you something like inlined action or heel clip in the third column and then the magnificent howl perk itself in the fourth column or maybe you want to get an incandescent roll because you don't have zally's it's going to be on luna sowl as well and cannons are just so good and of course you will be able to enhance all of the into the light weapons in the final shape so keep that in the back of your head of course you have a slew of great smgs to pick from in the energy slot people love their callus mini tools still subjunctive Ikelos, parabellum funnel web however we got a new version of recluse dropping with into the light as well so there's some juice there although if you have a god roll funnel web i would really try to go for something that the funnel web can't offer you on your recluse what's the point of having the exact same role and having them basically just be a carbon copy of one another some people might also like their nation of beasts although real quick i just want to give a sleeper shout out to the sweet sorrow stats for all and one for all on a rapid fire frame with the origin trait of land tank which gives you five percent damage damage resist on a weapon kill it can stack up to three times and it stacks with all of your other forms of damage resist like woven mail your natural resilience stat really sleeper weapon just want to give a little shout out to it okay then i'm a big fan of onslaught auto rifles think of the ross arago and the summoner also for utility purposes i will give a quick little mention to something like the staccatico or any shoot to loot explosive payload scout rifles and then a good bow can be useful in some harder solo content, maybe for doing legend law sectors. Maybe have a good little bow in the vault because you will be having 700 vault space in final shape, which will be, hey amen, we'll take that. But now let's segue over to special weapons. We'll start off with fusion rifles, shield clip riptide for utility purposes, scatter signal with controlled burst and overflow if you want to use it for damage or just as a workhorse fusion. Really good weapon, just saying. Energy slot fusions, good old Cartesian coordinate or the Aramite. Let me talk about shotguns real quick. Recombination Heritage can always be useful, even though it is a slug. Surrounded Imperial Decree is super underrated. And a Cascade Point, Untotaled's Return, Strand Shotgun, basically like the fifth horseman. And of course, a one-two punch shotgun. Energy Slot, the Ikelos is probably the main one-two punch shotgun in that slot. And the Dead Weight is just an overall really good shotgun, although it is from Gambit. Grenade launchers. Hey, bro, you already know I gotta talk about that new mountaintop. You got things like auto loading holster and overflow in the third column, Vorpal weapon, recombination, and or frenzy in the fourth column. I'm gonna be farming that mountaintop. Trust. And then maybe like a blinding GL if you do have one. And then we all know how insanely good wave frames are and they're literally reissuing forbearance with into the light so everybody can get their hands on forbearance. Now it's gonna have demolitionists in the third column if you wanna go with that, which is pretty insane and then the wilder flight is a really good weapon still for any damage rotations also let me shout out the rocket sidearm the indebted kindness really love that weapon with volt shot for trace rifles i would just recommend a shoot to loot trace rifle which is the path of least resistance although i feel like people who use trace rifles are a bit more experienced with the game anyways sniper rifles they're reissuing the succession and with into the light if you don't have that but the main one in the kinetic slot that i like is the supremacy with rewrite rounds kinetic trimmers it has bait and switch as well in the fourth column and then it has a pretty fun infinite ammo roll rather infinite shooting roll with rewrite rounds at fourth times charm a bit more of a gimmick roll although it has some niche uses really great weapon though would definitely recommend you get your hands on the supremacy pattern 1000 percent for energy related sniper rifles generally want to look for a rapid fire frame the iclo sniper repairs really well with apex and then hear me out but you may want to get yourself a good 
void sniper rifle maybe something like the father's sins with triple tap and focus fury and we'll get into the reason why a little later in the video also you may want to have an energy related slug but like i mean don't trip if you don't have one like it ain't the biggest deal oh i forgot to mention glaives i'm just kidding let's talk about heavy weapons now this is where we're gonna have quite the amount of juice we'll start off with lmgs the three go to lmgs be like song of air from crota's end everybody knows how infamous the commemoration has become with things like reconstruction and killing tally and i am the biggest supporter of the fake stars agenda however the hammerheads return is going to be glorious this thing looks really really fun to say the least you got rerun rounds four times a charm envious assassin and rampage in the third column you got things like surrounded target lock onslaught killing tally in the fourth column this thing's going to be an absolute demon so you don't have any good lmg in the game at the moment just grab the hammer head with into the light free update but i'll still keep supporting the fixed odds agenda all the way baby swords we all just spent the past week farming the slammer and then they dropped the heat on us that is the new iteration of the fallen guillotine also coming with into the light look man you can roll a double damage roll on this sword with something like frenzy and surrounded at the same time it also gets things like eager edge bait and switch short logic whirlwind blade in the fourth column this thing's gonna be a demon or at least very very fun and unique to say the least just keep in mind that vortex frame swords pretty bad frame with their heavy attack because it wastes so much ammo so just in case you still might want to have that surrounded quest on standby but no matter what definitely have at least one eager edge sword going into the final shape okay linear fusion rifles honestly we could skip this category but that would be straight up disrespectful to the bait and switch cataclysmic from battle of the disciple that being said i'm going to continue on now first class of heavy hitters rockets they're not quite the end all be all when it comes to dps now they have a little bit of competition but they're still good envious bait and switch cold comfort is still going to be really good to dump a lot of damage really quick and the apex predator is still in my opinion the best rocket in the game with reconstruction bait and switch or reconstruction and surrounded and for gms you already know i got a give a shout out to the field prep bipod semiotician with one reserve piece you can hold 17 rockets and a grandmaster really useful for that type of content however we know recently the grenade launchers have stepped up their game immensely with how much ammo they're now holding some are holding over 30 in adaptive frames which is the frame that the cataphract is are holding i think it's like 29 with when you rally with full reserves so i'll be love to have our rally reserve chest piece now if i was making this video a week ago i would just be preaching all day about the cataphract envious bait and switch cataphract is cooking you can with envious assassin dude if you proc it right multiple times you can get over a 20 round mag however because i'm making this video now there's something that we have to talk about that is very important no meme all facts it's real it's on the way it's your ticket out of cataphract jail it's the edge transit the reason why i am talking about this weapon right now is not just because it is your way out of cataphract jail with it having envious assassin in the third column and bait and switch in the fourth column but it is confirmed that these into the light weapons especially the specialized version that have the golden barrel on them are going to roll with multiple perks at the same time you can enhance all of them and what other perk does this weapon have in the third column cascade point so what are you going to do leading up to damage you're going to rock with envious assassin you're going to proc it a few times you're going to get your fat envious assassin mag ready to go and then right before damage starts just going to cover real quick and just swap over to your cascade point and then this is where the father's sins is going to be pretty useful here hit the boss with the izanagi shot reload it go into your father's sins shoot it a few times to proc cascade point and then switch to your edge transit and dude you're gonna do an insane an insane amount of damage you're gonna dump close to nine shots give or take of grenades that are buffed by bait and switch in like less than three seconds and then you just rinse and repeat it you're gonna be able to dump out so much damage so fast stuff that you we're just not used to seeing the games not used to see this is the most important weapon going into final shape and you will be able to farm it off rip when into light drops on april 9th i'm trying to be very clear about this the edge transit is the absolute most important must have weapon out of every single one that we've talked about in this video do not go into final shape without having it because it is a weapon that literally has a real six out of five god roll and all of us need it go ahead and let me know in your opinion what is a cannot miss must have weapon going into the final shape remember if you ever want to get your games and dlc for a cheap price make sure to instant gaming the top link in the description along with their free monthly game giveaway thank you so much for watching the video you guys be safe take care consider subscribing we'll see your beautiful faces in the next one adios